just writing out a calendar that says, okay, I know she stayed here this night, right. you know, and I've got the receipts, so I know what time she went here, what time she went right. there. And if I can figure out, I mean, even in a few days, if I can say, okay, I have her accounted for the whole day, she obviously wasn't looking for Kaylee. Right. You know what I mean? If I'm able to figure that out, you know, maybe I can go back and say, okay, well, this was the first day that she wasn't at all these other places, so something had to happen this day, right. or whatever, and then I can focus on, okay, what led up to that day. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to fill in all the holes first, right. and then from there, all I need to do probably is figure out the first few weeks prior to that, or the first month prior to that, and, you know, figure it out. So that's kind of what I'm trying to go through, just because I'm, like I said, my folks and everything, they're just worried that, because I know they're doing that stuff, right. but they're doing it to try to prosecute Casey. I'm trying to do it to find Kaylee. Like, yeah. I don't... <laughs> like, I don't care about all that other shit. And when I talk to the cops, I'm talking either about my opinion or or um, things that I've seen. Right. I don't talk about, you know, this person told me this and, you know, all yeah. this stuff. Because, number one, you never they know. can't use it anyway. No. Number one, because it's all admissible because they didn't hear from the source. So right. I'm wasting, I'm spinning my wheels. If, <laughs> you know, and I'm not trying to waste anybody else's time because I got plenty of shit to do, as we all do. But... I'm just, like I said, I'm just worried that, you know, they're not looking for Kaylee. So, my family and I, we don't have the money for it, but I mean, if I get enough of this stuff and I'm able to pin down days or stuff like that that I'm worried about, like, my family's considering hiring, like, a private detective and right. saying, like, you know, she had to have something happen this day or whatever. So, dig however you can dig and figure out what she was doing that day or whatever. But at this right. point, I mean... It's so hard because it was a month, yeah. you know, yeah. and now it's been two weeks on top of that month, so we are have to dig back in the memory bank so much further, you know, and I know it's harder for everybody, that's why I've, I, I've always had the notion to, to talk to you, you know, prior to all this, and, you know, and that night and stuff, but like, none of us knew this, no, you know, and, no, and no. none of us, like, none of us would even think that Kaylee would be missing for a few days when she's reported, like... Yeah. So now it's like, okay, we're still reacting. We haven't started really planning yet on what to do, but I think this is kind of my first step on how can I, you know... I'm getting this guy going, huh? I'm sorry? No, I'm getting, getting the, the private guy. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, it might, like I said, it may take a few days or so, but, like, I have Jesse putting together his timeline, Amy's putting together hers, Ricardo's putting together his, mm -hmm. my mom's working on hers right now, which is going to take the longest, because she's got the most info. I mean, I just told her, I said, well, I understand you're not going to know facts, but you'll remember what she said. Yeah. I was like, so you just tell me... Yeah, she talked to her every single Exactly. Time. That's my point. So I was like, mom's got all the info. Whether it's accurate or not, I want to know where Casey said that she was. Because mm -hmm. maybe there's something with that. Maybe. maybe there's some truth to that. Or, you know, if she said that Nanny's with this or something. I mean, maybe there's a clue in all this is what I'm trying to figure out. So, so if I get all these back and I'm able to get commonalities and say, okay, she told everybody the same thing. So this is the truth out right. of it. And the rest is the bullshit. Right. And as soon as I can start nailing down what the truths are... You know, I'm one step closer to finding the real fucking truth. True that, man. So, that's what I'm working on. So, I mean, if you, Cam, whomever, if they just sound like, all right, I remember this day, this day, whatever, sheet of paper, calendar, I don't care. It doesn't have to be pretty, but just, she was here this day or at this time, and this is what I remember and whatever, and just, you know, um, that would be freaking awesome. I can, I can, <laughs> yeah, I can do that. That would be awesome. Let me, um... Hold on. Let me give you. I know you have my number and everything. Let me give you my email. Oh, Look at this. I got all of this stuff on like individual little sheets of paper. <laughs> like to the 37 minute phone call that she had with Amy. I'm like, what did you guys talk about? And then right. she's like, all she was doing was feeding me lies about how, well, lies now, about how. You know, mom was giving her the house, and they're talking about moving in, and she all this shit, and I'm like, so I'm like, well, fuck, I was hoping that 37 minutes, she's calling you crying about Kaylee, and like, uh, it's, nothing's what I was hoping that I'd hear uh, about, you know, but, I don't know, still trying to figure it out. The best 
email for me because this is the one that no one else knows about. Because <laughs> if it goes to my other one, I'm never going to get to it. Like, I'm three days behind on my emails right now. I had like 200 and something in there. I have my emails are ridiculous it's, every day. It's nuts. And, like, I don't get spam. Like, none of it's spam. It's all, like, legit about this shit. Wow. So I just. I've got my girlfriend helping me read stuff, yeah. so I know to check this one. It goes to my phone. I've only got 87 messages on this, but I know at least who to look for because I get spam on this one all the time. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Vader05, uh, it's a zero, at bellsouth.net. It's, that's what it's on my license plate in my car, too, but Vader05. Um, yeah, I don't think much else, but if you just wanted to email me whatever, but that would be great. Or anything off the wall that you think of, or if you find out about, you know, that other guy or something. I'm more curious on, you know, if Casey's mentioned, you know, I've got this money saved up, and this is how much, and all this stuff. Okay, well, maybe we can figure out where that money came from, too, you know? She's been telling me that she's had that money. Well, well not that she had the money, but she's saying that she's had money saved up for since I've known her. I don't know about all that. Just because my sister's stolen checks from me. I've told you all this. For me, my mom, my grandma, uh -huh. Amy. But here's the thing. Whenever she steals a check, she never writes it out to cash. She never writes it out to her. She always pays something with it, uh -huh. which is probably the weirdest part, you know? Right. It's not like she's... she's and that's predominantly what she does. Or she'll use my mom's credit cards, but she's buying stuff. She's not getting the cash advance. Uh -huh. So it's not like she can get stuff unless she gets and brings it back for cash, you know. Uh -huh. But most places give you store credit. Like, I don't know how, through stealing money, then the way that she's done it, how you would be able to save up money. There has to be something, there's some other income that I don't, that I can't figure out yet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If it's legit that she's got this money saved up, but why would she, she never got? I mean, she never got any income from what she was doing with with right. Right. Oh, right. right. But nothing. I know that the thing is, though, I knew it still wouldn't have been anything like what she's yeah. talking about. I mean, even if you tip out somebody, if they get fifty to hundred bucks, I mean, it's nothing like what she's saying that she has. Exactly. So that's the that's the other thing that I've, I'm just kind of like trying to figure out but that stuck out in my mind a few days ago or maybe about a week ago because I, I remember the conversation from that night about you know that guy's someone raking in through his window and then what triggered it was Jesse telling me about your window huh. about how Casey was saying I don't want to climb in Tony's window and I'm thinking you know what if she's just talking again in half truths and she's either done it thought about doing it or did it to this guy to did I don't know. Like like I said, I'm, my mind's probably going faster than it should be, but it's just something I'm very curious about. Yeah, that's what I've been. I've been every single thing I'm trying to keep. Because if this guy says, everything. if this guy goes, yeah, I was missing, you know, ten G's and five thousand worth of product. I mean, she could have. There's over fifteen. She could have turned around and sold it or turned around to whatever. I mean. I don't know. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to think the worst for my yeah. sister, but I need to at least consider everything because right. I don't want. I don't want to overlook something that ends up being the clue that I need to find Kaylee. I, I can't do it. So I think that's why I'm getting so worked up. But like I don't care about any of this shit, man. All I want is that little girl back home. All Casey shit will be worked out after that. All right. I want his answers about Kaylee, and then. I can go back to work. My mom and dad can do whatever they need to do. I mean, I just, I want normalcy, man, and I'm not going to get it. None of us are going to get it. No. 